So as a way of getting started to talk about a uh, separate piece, I want to look at the, the setting uh, a little bit today. So usually when you start talking about the background of a book, you focus on the uh, biographical uh, details of the author, and then you look at the, uh, the setting as far as the time and the place. So uh, even though a separate piece is a classic and taught in a lot of schools, there's not a lot of information out there about uh, John Knowles. Uh, and most of what you find um, is showing his connection or referencing his connection to the school that you're seeing here, which is uh, Phillips Exeter Academy. Uh, that school was the basis for the Devon School um, in, in a separate piece. Uh, John Knowles attended uh, Phillips Exeter Academy during the, the war, World War II. And the, the book in large part is based on his uh, experiences there. So this uh, video should just be giving you a little bit of a sense of what these places looked like, uh, you know, where John Knowles lived, and then uh, basically what he used as uh, the setting for the characters of uh, Gene and Fiddy in the book. So I hope this gives you a little bit of appreciation uh, for those places and maybe helps you visualize those a little bit. Uh, John Knowles, of course, is based on the character of uh, Gene, and uh, like Gene, was someone who was more of an outsider to this world. He was born in West Virginia, and um, it was sort of a coincidence that he even ended up here uh, at Phillips Exeter, which is consistently ranked as one of the top high schools, if not the top high school uh, in America. So, hope you guys are impressed with my video editing skills. I've been practicing learning some things over spring break. Um, go to Veracross and you should see full information about today's assignment, which is going to relate to uh, the historical and physical setting for a separate piece. And I hope you're enjoying your, your reading. Um, and I know everyone's glad to be back at school. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.